A DBA, or doing business as, is essentially a nickname for your company. In Georgia, a DBA is also called a trade name. DBAs are a great way to rebrand your company name, to add new brands to your company, or to change your company name completely. For sole proprietors and partnerships, DBAs offer the ability to operate under a name that isn't the business owner's surname. For more information on the specifics of what a DBA is and how it can be used, check out our other video, linked below. In this video, we will go over the steps you need to take in order to form a DBA in Georgia. There are two ways to form a DBA. You can do it yourself, or you can hire a service to do it for you. Let's take a look at both options and help you decide how to go about forming your own DBA. One, do it yourself. If you want to save money, you can form a DBA on your own. Let's take a look at the steps to forming a DBA in Georgia on your own. One, complete name searches. When determining what you want your DBA name to be, you'll want to make sure you follow Georgia naming requirements. For more details, check out our video, how to name your business in Georgia, or our naming guides linked below. Next, you'll want to make sure the name is available in Georgia. The first and most important search is the Georgia Corporations Division Business Search. If the name is not available, you'll have to adjust your name or use a different one. We provide instructions to search your business name in Georgia on how to start an LLC.com, linked below. Searching is free. To learn more, visit Georgia Naming Guides linked in the description below. After confirming your name is available in Georgia, we recommend doing a domain search to see if your name is available as a URL. Even if you don't plan on making a website today, we recommend buying your domain name in order to prevent others from acquiring it. 2. Register your DBA After you've chosen an available name, you'll want to register your DBA. For all business structures in Georgia, you are required to submit a trade name application with the County Clerk of Superior Court where your principal place of business is located. DBA regulations are very similar from county to county, but they do vary. You'll need to contact the correct County Clerk of Superior Court for instructions. Check out the links below for a complete list of county contact information. And with that, you'll have a DBA in Georgia. Keep in mind that your Georgia DBA needs to be renewed every five years. You can either renew online or complete the business name renewal form. 3. Publish a notice for your DBA You must publish a legal notice in a newspaper in the county where your principal place of business is located. Within 30 days of registering your trade name, contact an approved newspaper from the county list in the county where your principal place of business is located. Request that the newspaper run a legal notice of trade name registration once a week for two weeks. Publication is easy, and when you call the newspaper to run your legal notice, they will be familiar with the process and will have a legal notice template for new trade names. You should direct any questions about publication to the County Clerk of Superior Court Office that you registered your trade name with. Option 2. The second way to form a DBA is to hire a professional service to create your DBA for you. Hiring a professional service to file your forms and do name searches will cost you an additional $50 to $150. However, there are several benefits to working with a pro. A hired professional files your DBA for you, keeps you up to date with renewals, and assists with publications. DBAs, or doing business as, are also known as trade names, assumed names, or fictitious names of a business. Informal business structures like sole proprietorships and partnerships can use DBAs as their business name instead of their surnames. Formal business structures like LLCs and corporations can use DBAs as a means to rebrand their name, add new brands, or change the name they are using as their business name. DBAs are not a business structure and are not separate legal entities. They also do not provide asset protection or liability protection to informal business structures. For state-specific guides on how to form a DBA, check out the pages linked below, and for a more detailed guide, visit StartupSavant.com. Give the video a like if you found it useful, and subscribe if you'd like to see more. And if you have questions or encounter any roadblocks, leave a comment below. Good luck in starting your small business.